Okay, the projections are in. How much SHIB will we burn when Shibarium comes out? We know a couple things, right? We know one thing. We know that Shibarium will increase the amount of SHIB burns. But by how much? Can we start to speculate just how big this could be in terms of by transaction, of course, we have other capabilities as well, whether it's companies coming in, building on top of Shibarium that integrates a burn mechanism or other projects or dApps that have a built-in burn mechanism in their contract. There are other ways, but can we start to get at the monthly burns projected as Shiba Inu team starts to get ready to potentially release Shibarium. At least all expectations are that we're going to get it sometime here in 2023. There are rumors out there, again, just rumors, that it's coming this time, this uh, sometime this summer. We shall see, right? But let's kind of dive into this a little bit deeper, and uh, I want to take you through some scenarios. So recently, Shiba Inu Content Marketer elaborated on the potential amount of SHIB we could burn once Shibarium is released. That's Lucy, of course, the esteemed content marketer for SHIB. Shout out to her. Her tweet reads this. I got you covered right here. Significantly impacts, Shibarium significantly impacts the SHIB ecosystem by introducing a burning mechanism that reduces the supply of SHIB. When users make transactions on the network, the base fee is locked on a Shibarium contract while the priority fee is paid to validators. Now, the base fee itself is divided by 70% uh, burned, 30% set aside for network maintenance. Accumulated bone tokens in the burn contract trigger the burn process on Ethereum's L1. Bone tokens are then swapped for SHIB tokens, which are then burned, effectively reducing the overall supply. Users can initiate burns through Shibarium's website, confirming transactions to migrate to the Layer 1 network. Once the process is complete, SHIB tokens are permanently removed from circulation altogether, again, impacting the total max supply, reducing it. This burning mechanism has several key benefits. Of course, firstly, it introduces the deflationary aspect of the SHIB token, reducing the supply over time. This can potentially benefit token holders, of course, it's not something that you feel overnight or within a week or month, but years, right? And secondly, it helps maintain supply and demand balance within the SHIB ecosystem. Fewer tokens in circulation, assuming demand is still constant and at some point, uh, at some point increases, it can lead to price appreciation. The burning mechanism itself incentivizes user engagement. People want to use Shibarium because they're impacting their bags. They're pumping their bags. Accumulating bone tokens and initiating burns allows users to actively participate and actively pump their bags. Shibarium's user-friendly portal facilitates the process easily, making it accessible to all by clicking Initiate Burn and Confirming Transactions. Users contribute to permanently removing SHIB tokens from circulation. It's essential to distinguish between the base fee and priority fee. The base fee is the minimum amount required for the valid transaction. Now, going back to this, how much could we actually burn, right? How much could we actually burn per month? Well, there are some speculations out there, and there have been speculations in the past, by the way, uh, in the last year and a half. But now they're saying uh, one community member optimistically mentioned the possibility of burning 20 trillion or 5 trillion tokens monthly. That's very different. But let's go and say conservatively $5 trillion, right? That would be fantastic. However, this projected value remains speculative as of press time because we just don't know how to accurately predict this. It's very difficult, right? The level of assistance that Shibarium will provide to Shiba Inu Burns largely relies on adoption and usage. Because so many times in crypto, people build out great tech. They build out great L2s. They build out great dApps, whatever it is. But if people don't use it, you can't reap the rewards. But I do know one thing about Shiba Inu's community. It is very engagement, engaging. It is very constant, and it is ever-growing. So, seriously, if we want to help this ecosystem, we have the opportunity to do so. We just need to come together and use Shibarium together as one. And if we do, we can certainly make an impact. Another community member has stressed the importance of timely implementation to capitalize on the ongoing bull season. Maybe that's what the SHIB dev team are thinking. 
Maybe that's why Shabarium isn't out in the first place. Maybe they're strategically holding out, waiting for retail money to pile in. Who knows? I do know one thing. As long as this community stays one of the top communities in all of crypto, the chances of us getting widespread adoption on Shabarium just amongst our own community is high. And then if crypto grows as we project it to do so, and we are a welcoming community that brings new people in, we could certainly get up to burning trillions of tokens per year. And we look up five, six, seven years from now and have a drastic impact on the overall out overall outcome of SHIB token and its ecosystem. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video.